Today I'm going to show you how to change the color of anything locally in Lightroom. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you've updated your Lightroom Classic to version 9.3 should be part of the June 2020 Lightroom update. So make sure you guys have done that first before we get started. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Lightroom and Photoshop editing tutorials just like this one. This is the image that we're going to be working with today. And what I want to do is change the color of this guy's t-shirt. And so the first thing we think is let me go to the HSL panel and try to adjust the colors from there. And so you can try to take the aqua and adjust that over to blue and the blue over to purple. And we can start seeing is the color is also changing in the pants and a little bit in the background. And if you try to adjust it to the other side, you can see that the background is adjusted. The skin tones are also changing. And overall, this isn't selecting just the t-shirt. And so what I'm going to do is reset this and we're going to go to this local adjustment brush. And so this local adjustment brush allows you to do is select this color and we'll be able to adjust that only. And so I'm going to go down and adjust some brush settings. So you're going to want to make sure that the flow is set to 100. The density is also 100. And the feather is down and the size is de adjusted depending on what you're trying to select. And you're going to want to make sure that auto mask is also selected. And so what auto mask does is a Lightroom will see what color you're targeting and it'll try to mask it best as it can with that. And so I'm going to start painting over here. And if you don't want to see where you're painting, click O. And so this will show overlay. And let's say you have like a red object, you can press Shift O, and that'll allow you to change the color of your mask. So I think red works well with this. And so I'm gonna start painting. You see that it does a fairly good job of selecting the edges. And it's okay if you go out, like on this side, we're gonna use another tool to refine the mask. Better. So I'm going to go and select this. And there we go. All right, so I've selected the subject. And to refine that, I'm going to go down to range mask. And so what Range Max allows you to do is set that selection to a particular color or luminance. So I'm going to select color and I'm going to click the eyedropper tool. And so this will allow me to select a particular color. And so select that group of colors, I'm going to click and drag. And so this will allow me to set the colors. And so you can see it went away in the hands and over here, but there's still some adjustments on this side. And so what I'm going to do is change the amount and bring that down. And so you can start seeing that the brushes on the outside are going away. So I'm going to set that down over to about 13 and that looks right. And so I'm going to press O again to get rid of the mask. And I'm going to scroll up to where it says hue. And so just like in Photoshop, this will allow you to change the color of the object you selected and so I can start dragging this and look at that it adjusts the color without changing the pants or the skin tones and you're able to select the colors and just change them like that and so I can go over to a bright red and the pants won't change the skin tones won't change and I can still have my other local adjustments on here and turn down the saturation a little bit you can see that this what was a bright blue changed to something like a bright red and I can even change it to a bright green and that'll change the color. I'm going to change this back over to the red and turn down the saturation a little bit and when you click done you can see that I can still adjust all of the other settings so if I want to change the hue, if I want to add some curves, change some basics can still do that but what I'm going to do for this one is apply by Peter McKinnon inspired preset I've done a video on this you can link that in my description box below if you want to check that out and download the preset as well but I'm going to click this and I'm going to adjust some settings a little bit adjust the saturation of the skin tones make it a bit brighter and you can see I was able to change the color and it still matches well with the image so here's the before that we had 
and with the blue t-shirt and the chain just now has the bright red t-shirt with my Peter McKinnon inspired preset applied on it. And so with this method I was able to change the color of the t-shirt without affecting the background and change that color locally in Lightroom. In this tutorial I showed you how to change the colors of anything in Lightroom locally and so if you like this make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe for more Lightroom and Photoshop editing tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching.